Hi, so in the uh, spirit of keeping things simple and showing you that you don't need a bucket load of studio equipment to take really nice pictures in the home, uh, I've set something up which hopefully is going to uh, show you what you can do without all of that equipment. I've just got a really uh, basic little uh, Nikon Speedlight flash gun there. I'll be honest with you, that's probably about 10 years old now but it's going to do the job. I've set it onto manual and I've set it to about 1 16th power. I've then got just a diffuser on a stand and that's just going to diffuse the flashlight coming through there um, to give a really nice soft light on Roxy's body. So last time we were at Roxy's house, uh, we saw her kitchen area and it's a great place to take pictures. Um, so I kind of came up with a concept of taking some kind of sexy, suggestive, tongue-in-cheek pictures here. Uh, so we've created a kind of a bit of a mess here um, in preparation for this. We've obviously got a lighting already set up. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know what's going to happen here. It's going to get a bit messy. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and as I say, we're going to make it se sexy, suggestive, and... Um, yeah, let's just get Roxy in and uh, get started and see what happens. Good, rub them in. Perfect. Okay. Good. Yeah, a bit of on the left. Okay, so that was, uh, that was fun. How many poses can you do with a rolling pin? Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but uh, I've got some blackout panels over there blocking out the daylight coming through these uh, great big floor to ceiling windows that we've got over there. And that's giving me control over all the light in here. Um, it is still getting through from the top window and things, so the light is still bouncing around just a little bit, having to adjust the exposure very, very slightly between shots sometimes. But our little flash gun behind there is, uh, is taking care of most of it. So, uh, so that's all looking good. Uh, OK, we're going to move on and we're going to find out what we can do with a wooden spoon. Okay, so <laughs> Ziggy thinks he's getting eggs. Oh, Aww. you can't have eggs. No, <laughs> no, these are these are eggs. You can't have eggs, Ziggy. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've done the wooden spoon. I've been spanked a little bit, um, so uh, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, we've got a uh, couple of eggs. Uh, so we're going to um, see what we can do with some eggs. So I'm going to get you to hold these two eggs in that one hand just there. Okay. And <laughs> Ziggy, you can't have eggs. <laughs> oh, bless him. Not for you. Okay.
Okay, <laughs> we've got some outtakes to show you maybe, <laughs> or maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, have a look through those. Thank you. <laughs> you haven't got flour on your hands, have you? No. Okay, don't get flour on my camera. Okay, uh, so um, I think that was kind of sexy, suggestive fun. Uh, was it sexy, suggestive fun? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, Worked really well. Some really, really cool pictures there. A little bit different, very kind of tongue-in-cheek, um, but uh, so much fun. Again, light was a little bit of a problem. The sun was coming in and out, so we were having to cope uh, with that a little bit. But as I say, I've got my blackout uh, fabric at the window here, which is blocking most of it out, um, so uh, took care of it. Going with the, the uh, kind of thing that I talked about right at the beginning is you don't need to spend a huge amount of money on a lot of expensive lighting equipment if you're going to be shooting stuff in and around your own home or another person's home, <laughs> um, um, you know, a, a rented place, whatever it might be. Um, I've just got a little speed light flashback there set to 1 16th power, diffused through a, um, one of these uh, reflector and diffuser, diffusion um, uh, things that you can get from Amazon, just a collapsible one, uh, amazing value, about £40 pounds or something like that. Um, so that light was being diffused, that was all doing all the work, and then the rest of it was just the ambient light. We're working on an 85mm lens um, at around about kind of, you know, 2.8, 3.2, 3.5, keeping the aperture nice and wide, and that's letting the background drift out of focus. Even the sort of stuff at the background here was out of focus, uh, keeping the attention on Roxy and giving it a really nice atmosphere. Um, yeah, it, it, very easy to do. Great fun, it's all in the planning. So plan your shoot, get your props, give it a go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we did, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at the pictures.